Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this Pilates bar from Quantithink. This is Mare Product Reviews. First, let's start with the unboxing and super simple assembly. And then I'm going to test this product out and compare it to a Pilates springboard apparatus. This comes with a little extra resistance tool band. This is just a little bonus right here. And here is the Pilates bar itself. It comes in two pieces and you just take it and snap it together. It has foot loops or hand loops at the ends and a nice little padded bar. So you just push in those two knobs, clip it together and twist it and it locks into place. Next 
we'll go into another exercise, the opening. Great hip work here. And finally, we'll take the extended frog. Place my hands on the 
bar. So right away, I lose a little bit of stability holding on right there. And I'm gonna extend one leg long and lift up into the arabesque. So if you typically do this exercise without any resistance, you will love this right here. Good, one of my favorite exercises to take on the springboard is to sweep out to the side and back. I'm just gonna go to the point where I lose the resistance here. And you can also cross over the opposite way. Or you could tap the toe down and take off any of these exercises that you might do in a mat setting, you can add on here with resistance. Now, if you were to try to take off to the side as I would generally do on the springboard, you can see that it's just a little bit too long, there's not tight enough resistance, I'm just kind of fall back. So you're a little bit limited with your range here. All right, but you can use this bar to make some killer work with so if you want to challenge yourself in plank, just lift up here. You do want to make sure that you're holding on to this bar and that your weight is over top of the bar. Otherwise, it'll just go flying when you move. So bringing up right here, you can really challenge the bar by taking movements or challenge the plank, sorry, by taking various movements right here, etc. The only downside to those exercises is, is of course that your the weight of your hands has to be on this bar. So there's good padding, but it's also, you know, a round bar, so it feels a little bit different you need to get used to on your wrist. You've got kind of that awkward feel, you probably won't, don't want to stay there for a huge long period of time. Alright, next let's try some standing exercises. So I've got my feet into the loops right here, and I'm holding on to the bar. So exercises like the bicep curl. You can see my range of motion here. I've got resistance. I'm not pulling a whole lot of weight. This really isn't doing too much for me. It goes completely slack when I release there. So we need to be a whole lot tighter. I've got this much that I can tighten in here and it's really not going to do that much. But here are some exercises that do work really well when we take and press the bar up overhead. So we feel a lot of weight right here and press up nicely. Now this is a great range for me in this exercise. So if you've ever tried this with resistance bands where you're holding onto the handles and you step your feet into them, you can feel them if you're not wearing shoes or something, like digging into the sides of your feet and you don't have that here with these straps, which is nice. So I feel like I could stand here and do this just all day without it bothering my feet if I'm not wearing shoes. Most of the time in my studio, since I do bar and Pilates, I'm not wearing shoes. So this works great right here. Also, you can take some balancing exercises where you're lifting the leg and doing various leg work while you're attached to that resistance. So you can lift the legs to the front, to the back. Really not too much resistance coming to the side here, but you're able to take some standing leg work while having working on your balance and using a little bit of resistance here fit in really nicely with bar exercises. So hopefully this gives you some ideas about how to use this Pilates bar for your mat Pilates or apparatus Pilates exercises and gives you a better idea of exactly how this works. Obviously when you're doing things, it's gonna be a little bit unstable. You're gonna have to work on holding it evenly, but I really recommend this if you take reformer or springboard classes and you are a huge fan of feet and straps and you wanna be able to replicate that at home pretty comfortably with um, out anything digging into your feet. Now obviously this is going to feel like at home equipment and not like very large and very expensive springs. So there's a reason that studios and apparatuses are so expensive and there's a big difference between like an at home piece of equipment and a professional studio piece of equipment and usually several thousand dollars that goes with that difference. But if you're looking to do your feet and straps work and you don't have any equipment at home, this is a good option for you to have to be able to do that. Also, if you typically don't do a whole lot of Pilates apparatus work, you just do mat Pilates and you're working to get some extra resistance into glute work that you're doing in a quadruped position, hands and knees, or you want to intensify
by your core and plank. Those are great exercises there. And you also get a very nice overhead press. Those are my favorite things to do with this particular piece of equipment. It's not expensive, it's a good option, and it's a great, great way to use resistance bands along with a bar to be able to replicate some apparatus work that we do in Pilates Studios. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions about this piece of equipment. And if you would like to see a full workout session using this, I can make that for you, make that happen over on my other YouTube channel, The Betty Bar Pilates Studio. This piece is inexpensive and can really add a little bit of flair to your at-home workouts. Hopefully these examples of how to use it have been helpful. I got my Pilates bar on Amazon, and as usual, you can find the link to this product in my write-up below. And I will have a full-length workout utilizing the Pilates bar available on Benny Bar Pilates Studio, my other YouTube channel. You can find the link for this in my write-up below, in the upper right-hand corner, and at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching, and check out my channel for more fitness product reviews, as well as all other types of product reviews. I'll see you guys next time.